Hello YouTube, this is Tabor Price 667 and we are back with our week 2 of NCP. This week we are going up against Hayes and his New Orleans Neuburn. So last week if you haven't seen it, I do definitely suggest checking out. Uh, it was a close battle that we were able fortunately to win. So this week we'll hope to continue the momentum and go on to 2-0 in this league. So what Hayes has is he has a Dragapult, a Togekiss, a Nidoking, Keldeo, Registeel, Galarian Darmanitan, Incineroar, Delmise, Regilecki, and Type Null. So his team is like similar to like the first week. Uh, he's got a busted mod that shouldn't be allowed in draft in Dragapult. So <laughs> it's just part two of facing the uh, toughest mods. So fun. He also has a very scary bot in Togekiss. I really struggle in breaking Togekiss hilariously enough. Uh, Galarian Darmantan actually kind of blows through most of my team. It's uh, just I don't really have a spectacular ice check, so it's going to be really tough to really handle Galarian Darmantan. Especially since like I could be bron bring Bronze on or uh, Heatom, and then it's just it gets blown back just by how powerful Galarian Darmantan is with its uh, coverage moves as well. So it'll be tough handling that Mon for certain. And Delmize can always be a threat as well. Type Null kind of just blocks Gengar in a similar fashion that uh, Porygon 2 tried doing last week. So it's just like a lot of, he just has a lot of great mons that can kind of take on my team. It made team building this week a little bit tougher, I'm not going to lie, because of how many different different amazing mons he had. It's kind of like stretched me thin of what I wanted to build and what I wanted to bring, but. I think these six are probably uh, the six I definitely wanted to bring. Uh, there is a mon that I will touch on later on that I kind of am like if Yon should I buy it or not, but we'll figure it out when the battle comes. But until then, let's just bring it to my team here. So first off, we have uh, Urshifu Single Strike, of course. We're rocking the Expert Belt with uh, enough speed and Jolly Nature to outspeed Galarian Darmanitan without Scarf. And the rest in attack and a little bit of spadef. And the moves it's rocking are Wicked Blow, Close Combat, Poison Jab, and Sucker Punch. So I am running the Expert Bell specifically because if it's a spadef Togekiss or not fully defensive bulky Togekiss, Wicked Blow plus Poison Jab should be able to outright kill it. So Togekiss isn't exactly uh, the safest switch into this mod anymore. So that is really what I'm really hoping for here, since his best switch into Rishifu is Togekiss. If I can take out the Togekiss just with a Wicked Blow and Poison Jab, I'll be in an amazing position. Next we have Gengar, which is rocking the Choice Scarf. And this Gengar is actually just max special attack modest, because the only Mon I'm really trying to outspeed here is Galarian Darmanitan. And at level 50, I do still outspeed Galarian Domain 10 by one speed point. So I am just max modest instead of really caring about max Timon here. And so I'm also rocking the Choice Scarf, of course, earlier just to outspeed Domain 10 Galarian if it's also Choice Scarf, as well as just to outspeed Dragapult, non Choice Scarf threats. Literally just to outspeed every single mom on this team except the Regieleki and the Keldeo if the Keldeo happens to be Choice Scarf. And I'm rocking Shadow Ball, Sledge Wave, Trick, and Focus Blast. So Trick is to handle the Type Null if it wants to come in and check Gengar. I can trick the Type Null as Choice Scarf. I can also do this to Registeel as well. If the Registeel wants to stay in, if it's like a Spadaf Registeel, then I can trick it and cripple the Registeel as well. Uh, it's the uh, same kind of thing with a Togekiss. If the Togekiss isn't heavy duty boots anymore, I can trick, like, if... I can trick the Togekiss, I can steal its heavy duty boots, and then the Togekiss starts taking a lot of damage and chip from rocks, so it's actually kind of great here. I don't know if I would be wanting to click trick, especially if the uh, Darmanitan, Clarion Darmanitan proves to be a Choice Scarf set, or like a Salix set even. I would still want to be able to outspeed that and revenge it. So next up we have the heavy duty boot Salamence. Now this is my more likely my win con in the back. Once again, I'm rocking enough speed to outspeed a Jelly Glaring Darmanitan. And I'm Moxie, so 
if I like get to one Dragon Dance off, I really start going through his whole team. Uh, the only Mon that really 100% checks this fence is a Togekiss. And if I can cripple the Togekiss or just take it out with Urshifu, like breaking it with Urshifu and Gengar, then this Salamence is actually an amazing cleaner in the back. So if I just take out the Togekiss, if I deal some prior damage to Registeel, I can get a Dragon Dance up, say on like an Incineroar or a Keldeo that might be like Choice Specs locked into a move that isn't Icy Wind. Even Delmize won't be able to just right, outright KO me. In like Type Null, especially like Type Null's like Choice Scarf locked. There's like quite a few mods I can set this up on. Just get to plus one and then blow through his team. That's kind of what the hope for is here. But of course, I still need to break through his team before I can even think about sweeping with Salamence. Next, we have the Swampert. Now, this Swampert is a max defensive Swampert with uh, Stealth Rock, Rest, Flip Turn, and Earthquake. I'm also rocking the Leftovers. Uh, so, I'll talk about it later on, but I am running Rest, No Sleep Talk, and No Chesto because I do have a Heal Bell user in the back. I just I wanted to fit Stealth Rocks on this scene because I really needed something that can chip down the Glaring Darmanitan and the Togekiss if I can get rid of Togekiss's boots. Uh, flip turn just to keep up momentum. Earthquake does a lot of damage to both Registeel, Regieleki, and Nidoking. And then, uh, of course, Rest just to keep myself healthy, especially since I'm going to be using this as like a sort of semi check to Glaring Darmanitan since I am able to easily take Icicle Crashes. Well, not easily, but I do take one from full. So, kind of what it's here for. It's just, it's supposed to check a lot of things, so it's going to be wearing worn down rather quickly, so I do need the rest, and I do want the heal bell on a, a later mod. Next up, we have Tang Growth with the Assault Vest. Now, Assault Vest Tang Growth is 100 uh, walls uh, Keldeo 99% of the time. There could be some weird Keldeo sets out there that beats Assault Vest Tang Growth I know of, so hopefully he's just not one of those, but outside of that, this set is able to 100% beat Keldeo. Uh, because Keldeo, even though I'm not the biggest fan of Keldeo, it's still a threat to my team, so having something to beat it is great here. Kind of just hard walls it. I'm also rocking Knockoff, Focus Blast, Giggy Drain, and Sludge Bomb. Uh, he goes Keldeo, and I can go like Tangrowth, whatever, then he's like, oh, I am walled by Tangrowth. He can like switch out into his Incineroar, or into his Galarian Darmanitan, something of that nature. If I can knock those off and take away their boots, I'm in a great position. As I can like start doing rock ships to them. As well as like maybe he wants to go Togekiss on this for some odd reason. Knock that off as well. Boom, no more boots or whatever item. So overall just uh, taking away items. It's kind of just been like a knock spammer. Focus Blast to hit Registeel really hard. And Giga Drain Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb of course for Togekiss. Giga Drain just to... Just so that I can at least hit the Keldeo and not just sit there and do nothing. And finally, Audino with the Heavy Duty Boots. This Audino is a special defense tank. So it's more there for the Dragapult specifically. As it checks special variants of Dragapult while the Swampert that I mentioned earlier is able to check physical variants. And then it's Rocking Toxic, Wish, Knockoff, and Heal Bell. Once again, Knockoff Spreader. Uh, it just also clicks Toxic on a lot of mods, as his only poison type is Nidoking, and Nidoking actually isn't really able to fully break Audino. So if I could just knock off the Nidoking as well, I'm in a great position, as I could take away its life orb, and then it just loses a lot of its breaking capability like that. So, kind of like, uh, as I stated earlier with the tank growth, the Audino is just here to knock him knock things off, and just toxic things around, which kind of just sit there and be a nuisance to other mods. And it's also rocking the heal bell, as I stated earlier. This is the mod that I'll be heal belling the rest Swampert on with, and as well as like if he's like rocking like Will-O-Whispers or Toxics or even Thunder Waves, I can heal bell him off later with Audino. So yeah, this is uh, my team of six. Honestly, a lot more bulkier than I'm used to running. 
But I think overall, it can really uh, do some damage. If I can just like break through the Togekiss and the Registeel and the Incineroar, then I can really just leave it open for the Salamence in the back just to sweep the rest of the team. So uh, hopefully that's how it goes. If not, whatever, I'll just go back to the drawing board for next week. So uh, with all that said, I will catch you all in the battle. All right, and we're back to see what he brought here. So he's got the Dragapult. The Keldeo. The uh, Darmanitan. The Togekiss. The Needle King and the Type Null. Honestly, it's kind of like these six are definitely something I could have seen coming. Uh, <laughs> no Registeel is amazing for me, so that I don't have to deal with just trying to break that bulk. Uh, the only bulk I really have to worry about breaking for the Salamence Endgame is the Togekiss. Uh, if he ends up being a Choice Scarf Dragapult, that could be a little annoying, but hopefully uh, we can find a way to handle it, and hopefully he's not at the same time. But what do I want to lead here? Uh, honestly, I think Swampert's fine. If anything, he doesn't have a way to get rid of Brock's outside of Defog. So I think I could get Rocks up here, and then... Either flip turn out or toxic. All right. Hopefully he picks a team. It would really suck if we have to restart this. But let's see how it goes here. Okay, so he's got his six. All right. So what does he want to lead with? All right. How many? How many? How many? Let's go. Very nervous about this. Uh, let's see. He's got a cool get up. I do say that. Death note. What's that? That is Dragapult. Alright, I kind of don't like my lead. Uh, if anything, I'm just going to go hard auto now. It's kind of what it's here for, is literally just for the Dragapult. Uh, he could be sub, but knockoff should break sub. So we're just going to go hard into the I don't know here. He could also be toxic, which would be a little bit annoying, but getting a free knockoff is fine either way. I do have heal bell on this, so I can heal bell the toxic off later. He just U turns. I guess I should have expected that. He's going to go into the, the Darmanitan, and I'm going to sack him on. <laughs> this, is, this is the game we play. Keanu Reeves. Yep. <laughs> Alright, it's time to sack him on. Uh, Swampert, you did nothing. So actually, this will be a great uh, to tell me what set he is. He could be Choice Bandit. If he's Choice Bandit, he does like 90%. If he's Choice Scarf, he does about 60. He is... That looks like bandit damage. Versus Darmanitan. Galar. Oh yeah, that is choice bandit out the wazoo. Uh, do I have anything for... I don't. <laughs> Great. This is sucks. This sucks. I definitely should have gotten my rocks up. Uh, this is going to be really tough. I'm going to try to get my rocks up. Maybe he misses. Nope, he doesn't miss. Alright, so... Swampert goes down. Uh, let's see. How much do I do with... A Urshifu? Oh, Wicked Blow can... KO this. Uh, he doesn't know that I'm not Choice Bandit, so I think Urshifu is pretty safe here. 
Uh, we'll see what he wants to go into. But I still get a free Wicked Blow either way. I want to uh, calculate see how much damage it does to the Togekiss, because the Togekiss is definitely coming out here. Yep. This is probably like a max defense, if I had to guess. So I did about 25%. Are you Rocky Helmet or anything? No. So if I do 25% with Wicked Blow, yeah, that's definitely a uh, max defense set. Yeah, Poison Jab is not taking you out anytime soon. So uh, let's see. Honestly, I could go Gengar here. No. I don't like Gengar yet. I'm going to go into this and click Toxic. But if he doesn't Roost, I am in a great position. He Toxics me. That's fine. Literally, I just need to set up an endgame with uh, Salamence, and right now it's not really going great. Alright, so we're going to Toxic back. Really, I had no check for going into Darmanitan, so that's on me. I definitely should have brought Bronzong, I think. But even then, I would have like lost the Flare Blitz. Or like maybe like a defensive Rotom Heat maybe would have been a good bring. Okay, so what's he switch into? Does he just go hard? That's, uh, that's the Keldeo? Okay, I mean... I just go Tangrowth here. Wait, 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 wait. The Togekiss is also hasn't healed, so... Um, I do beat it. I do beat it with uh, Urshifu, which is amazing. So he probably just, if I was him, I would probably flip turn here. It brings in his uh, Galarian Darmanitan for free. Yep. And the Galarian Darmanitan comes in, and I sack another Bond. Uh, what do I want to sack to it this time, though? I really, really wish I got Rocks up. That's stupid of me not to get Rocks up. Hmm. Hmm. I think I can use... I don't know if he's rocking Icy Wind on his Kelio. I can also use the Type Null as Setup Fodder for... Salamence, so at some point I do want to get in Gengar. Uh, I'm just going to stay in and click Focus Blast. Maybe he misses his Icicle Crash. Nope. He is 3 for 3 thus far. That's fine. It's a 90% move. I'm asking for too much for him to miss there. Bro, I just like, I just raw lose this. This is so like stupid of me, honestly. Okay, so I literally just went blow into Poison Jab. Yep, he withdraws again. He goes into this. Oh no, that was a low roll. So that's at like 56%. Poison Jab, it needs a high roll to kill. I'm going to go for it. I think he roosts here. I have to go for it. I wish I got a better roll. But it is what it is. Do I get the poison? Yes, let's go! If he roosts, that's amazing. Oh, perfect.
Oh man, I was lucky, not gonna lie. But, okay, so I do take this out. Uh, one last check for uh, my Salamence to worry about here. Uh, if he goes Caldeo, I can... Hmm. Here's the issue is, if he goes Caldeo, what do I switch into? I need to set up Salamence on something. Yeah, there's the Caldeo. Uh, I believe Caldeo kills from full. If he's choice specs, he definitely kills. If not choice specs, he does not. If he's not choice specs, he doesn't kill. Uh, how much do I do with Salamence to a type null? Nothing. Perfect. That's exactly what I want. I. Do I switch? I think I have to stay in, honestly. I'm going to close combat. Okay, if this kills, it's specs. Okay, that's specs damage. Which means I do set up on this. with Salamence later on. I think I go Gengar and I trip. Yeah, Gengar's the play and I trip. Because he's going to go Type Null. So this is at least prime candidate for um, Salamence. Okay, so I do I do give the type null the the choice scarf. And now I just focus blast. And I miss. He paybacks. It shouldn't kill because I missed. Yep. Honestly, this is great. If I can hit a focus blast, and then I can learn, I could just win. Oh, he's cursed body as well. Oof. I mean, it's free Dragon Dance with Salamence here. Uh, his mons who uh, check me are now all dead. Uh, Galarian Darmanitan actually might live a Dragon Claw now that I think about it. Because of like how high its HP stat is. If I'm plus one. Okay, it's a roll in my it's a 50-50 roll pretty much, so. I get a free dragon dance. He stays in. He's choice scarf struggling though. So I get to plus two. What does he have left? Neo King? I mean, unless he's like Sash something, this should just sweep.
Wait, how much does uh, plus two Dragonclaw do to Needle King? In case he's Shaka Berry. Okay, Dragonclaw still kills. How about Keldeo? Dragon Call will still kill that as well. Okay, so I got two plus two, so I do outspeed. Is he Sash? He is not. So I get to plus three now. <laughs> Am I just about to reverse sweep with the uh, with the Salamence? Because. At plus three, Needle King does not live. Keldeo's poisoned, so it's at the point where it doesn't live either. And Darmanian's hand doesn't live either at plus three. Yeah, Keldeo comes in, and plus three Dragonfall kills. And now I'm at plus four. Bro, Salamence built different. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Wow. Yeah, I'm just going Dragon Claw. I'm not even going to try risking the Shucka Berry here. Man, boy, that's crazy. I literally thought I lost the moment that I just saw Choice Bandit Darmanitan. But getting rid of the, like getting the poison on the Togekiss was huge. I'm not going to lie. Like if I didn't get that poison, I would have been in a much rougher position because the Togekiss can literally just roost all me. So, wow. Uh, GG's to Haze. Um, <laughs> I am super lucky about the Poison on the Toad Kiss, I'm not gonna lie, but outside of that, it's just... I literally just had to position myself to get Salamence in, and I was able to do that, so... I'm very happy about it. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was literally an offensive team versus me that didn't really have a way to beat said offensive team except with uh, Dragon Dance Salamence in the back, so... Uh, a, I was I was fortunate to choice scarf trick the the type null, and then B, I was very very fortunate that I curse body proc'd it, so it wasn't dealing any damage to me. It was literally just struggling, so it really meant free dragon dances for Salamence. Uh, I think he definitely should have switched versus me uh, with that in because I would have had to. Like, try killing earlier, and I don't think I would have been able to. Like, uh, the Darmantan specifically, I actually did not kill until I got to plus two. Outside, like, a 50 50 roll. And that was just, like, with no HP or defense on the Darmantan. So, I was very fortunate that he actually let me just set up on the Type Null for free there. Uh, so, yeah, GG's to Hayes once again. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next week. Peace.